But the real big winner this morning actually is not even tech. It's in healthcare and pharma as Amgen is on track to put in a new one-year high, and they're looking to join in the obesity drug yep. story, Renita, right? That's what all the excitement is about. I mean, they also had pretty good earnings and revenue in this past quarter, but shares are so high, they're going for their biggest rise since July 2009. That's where it could be if this stock closes above 15% higher, which it just hit close to that. It's almost 15% higher. But at any rate, the company saw a adjusted earnings drop about two cents year over year. However, they beat the analyst estimates coming in at $3.96 a share revenue rose about 22% year over year to 7.45 billion, also beating the estimates. Looking at a few different categories, product sales grew 22% and product volume growth was at more than 25%. And just as you say, the company has forayed into weight loss drugs. And that shows major growth potential, especially since we've seen such high demand for these obesity drugs as competitors Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk have really dominated the market. But investors like this one from Amgen. It's called Meritide because it's taken less frequently. And by the way, the excitement was specifically because early results from the study of this experimental drug showed positivity. They showed that it worked within 12 weeks of taking it. People saw significant weight loss reduction or weight loss. Now, analysts are also hopeful that this may mean something significant for this company. William Blair, they say they see this new drug as having a multi-blockbuster potential. And they believe that Amgen actually has the capacity and expertise to maximize development of this asset into the next generation, I guess, of weight loss drugs and yeah. maybe even having a more significant place in this company. I wonder when uh, we will start to see any uh, you know, valuation repricing around the competition. Mm -hmm. You know, when it comes to Eli Lilly and Novo, because you also got that Viking startup, well, not a startup, yep. but uh, you know, uh, uh, incoming uh, competitor right, incoming. as well. So, uh, you know, I guess right now the theory is there's enough to go around because we already saw from Eli Lilly and Novo, they're barely keeping up with demand. So I guess mm -hmm. that's not an issue right now. The market's just happy to see another participant. You're right. And right now the market's kind of getting flooded with these weight loss drugs. But it, it, just as you say, it seems happy to see another one because people have more options now. All right. A big winner here, up 13%. Uh, Eli Lilly, Novo, uh, down a tiny bit. And we did see the little bit of uh, kind of uh, fade, if you will, around mm -hmm. uh, earnings uh, where we got the pop and then the kind of drop down in Eli Lilly. So, mm -hmm. all right, Amgen, I guess, saw uh, the next one to watch in yeah. the wave of uh, obesity drug makers. By the way, it got an upgrade from Barclays as well to equal weight from underweight, raising that price yeah. target to $300 from 230 So it's a bear-breaking report because that yeah. analyst was bearish yeah so, yeah all right uh nice good context thanks mm -hmm. yeah uh analysts clamoring for uh the trend in pharma which is weight loss amgen up big s&p's up one percent